Ladies and gentlemen of the Action Army, what is going on? And welcome to another episode of Answers for Athletes. In today's video, we got a question from JJJJJUJ9203, who says, do you suggest one or two foot dunking? I'm 5'11", 145 pounds, max squat, deadlift, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so essentially, do I suggest one or two foot dunking? Let me tell you a story. The story is about my good friend, Kevin. Kevin, if you don't know Kevin, he is my youngest son. Um, his face is a little deformed a little bit. I don't know what happened. Um, I think, you know, that's that old saying, like, if you keep your face like that, it'll get stuck that way. I think that's what happened. He just kept making this face and, and one day it just got stuck. And that, so that's why he's ugly. But Kevin is my podcast partner. Well, he used to be before he stole out of my mother's purse. All right, let me stop yapping. Um, essentially, this story is about Kevin. Would you believe it if I told you that I dunked on Kevin's head? Well, if you do believe me, you are correct because I dunked literally on Kevin. He tried to block it and I'm not going to hit my head because I have headphones on that may hurt, but it was on his head. And this is what happened. And I'm, I promise I'm going to answer the question. Kevin and I were playing one-on-one. -on -one. Here's a fun fact. I will tell you about the times that I have dunked in game. In an actual game, I got a bunch of fast break dunks, right? Nobody gives a shit. The only cold dunks that I actually got in game where I did a I did a drop step dunk, and that's when my bounce was at its peak. And I was actually surprised that I got it, but I caught the ball in the short corner. I did a drop step. I went up. And I banged on actually nobody. Nobody was there. The The help side defense did not come. I just dunked it. Um, but then I dunked on Kevin in a one-on-one -on -one game. And Kevin is very slow. So obviously I beat him. I got a quick first step. So I beat Kevin to the right. And I just jumped off my left one foot dunk. The drop step was obviously off two. All of my dunks, I'm a two foot jumper. So every fast break, it's mainly with two. I never dunked in game off of one foot besides when I dunked off, dunked on Kevin in one-on-one. -on -one. So I beat him to the right, jump off my left foot, and on his head, that is when he became my youngest son. So I said, you are my son. Don't worry. I have a binky for you. I will feed you. I will buy you clothes. You can sleep in my house. Um, so yeah. Kevin, that is when Kevin became my son. I dunked on him. But anyways, now that I've yapped for about four minutes, do you suggest one or two foot dunking? This is what I suggest. All of you watching this video, you are going to be either a one or a two foot dunker naturally. It is very uncommon, for lack of a better term, that an athlete has both and they are really good at two foot jumping and really good at one foot jumping. So Zion Williamson is a good example of he's great at both. He got some bounce, bounce off two. He got some bounce, bounce off one. But all of you watching are going to naturally be better at one or the other. You're also going to naturally have approaches that you are bad at. So for me, for the longest time, I was really bad at jumping off of my right foot my my one foot dunk off my right foot with my left hand, um, which has actually now become better than my left foot because of my ankle injury on my left leg. And then my left right two foot approach is not as good as my right left two foot approach. So all of you naturally have something that you are better at than others. What I need you to do is work on every approach. You should be working on all four approaches and your weakest approach should get the most reps. And a lot of people don't do this. I think this is a great thing to do. Bring up all of your approaches. It can only help. Work on your weaknesses. Now, to answer your question after I've yapped for a long time, I think it's better to be a one-foot dunker than a two-foot dunker. And the reason is because in-game, and guys, quick side note, dunking is really not shit. Sometimes my high school team will be warming up. They'll be in layup lines. And the guys on the other AAU team, if we play like a really good team, there will be like 15-year-olds or 16-year-olds just, yow, 
they're just they're just banging out on the other side they're dunking everything and my guys are <laughs> i'm like guys dunking ain't shit you think that you think you're just gonna let that dude dunk on you bro play defense don't let him dunk and he's not gonna dunk dunking is like 0.05 percent of the game this ain't the nba bro so dunking really isn't shit right you need to focus on other things, but since all of you follow me for vertical jump advice and you want to dunk, I think that dunking off one leg is much more effective because that is where you are going to be able to get your in-game dunks most of the time. Now, if you have enough bounce, you're going to be able to, like when I had my the most bounce I've ever had, I dunked from the short corner, drop step, was able to dunk. So if you have enough bounce, you'll be able to dunk off two. A great example, Zion Williamson. He gets a ton of two-foot dunks. But for the average high schooler or college guy, two-foot dunks are going to be great. But I'm telling you, if you could beat somebody off the dribble and just bang on their head like I did Kevin when I made him my child, I do think that is going to be the best thing that you could do. So if you're a one-foot jumper that can't really two-foot jump very well, I wouldn't be that concerned. If you're a two-foot jumper that can't one-foot jump really well, I would be a little bit concerned because you're going to get your two-foot dunks, I promise you, but it takes more time to get a two-foot dunk. It takes longer to do a two-foot dunk than it does to do a one-foot dunk. A one-foot dunk happens like that. You can beat someone off the dribble, rise up, bang on them. But a two-foot dunk does take a little bit longer, so unless you've got some bounce, 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 you ain't going to be getting that in-game. So, guys, there's my answer. If you're a two-foot dunker that can't really one-foot jump, bring up those weaknesses. If you're a one-foot dunker that can't really two-foot jump, you could bring up your weaknesses. I would still suggest it, but I wouldn't be as concerned. The moral of the story, the answer of this video is make sure that you can do one foot dunks. If that is a weakness for you, you have to bring that up. Anyways, like this video if you like it. Leave your comment down below if you want me to answer your question in a video just like this. Comment jump for a free vertical jump training program and stop playing with your gains. Get my programs. I've helped thousands and thousands and thousands of people increase the vertical jump. I got Beyond the Rim 2. We got an in season program, all the programs to help you increase your vertical, increase your athleticism, become the best athlete that you could possibly be. But anyways, I'm out. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Peace.